Hey everybody, welcome back to Reach Our Reptiles. My name is Garrett Hartle, and in this week's video, we are going to talk all about probably the most beautiful color enhancing genes in the reticulated python world, which is the Sunfire. Now Sunfire, as I said, is what's considered a color enhancing gene. It's an incomplete dominant mutation, but what we're gonna see in this video is that it doesn't just affect the color. It actually can play with the uh, pattern in some interesting ways. So to give us some context historically on Sunfire, the original imported animal wasn't called a Sunfire at all. It was actually called a gold stripe and it was owned by Bob Clark. Because the Sunfire enhances and reduces pattern, this animal had almost a head to tail stripe and was named after that. However, once he bred it, he realized that he had a homozygous incomplete dominant trait on his hands because bred to a wild type, it produced all gold and black animals. They had the color and a little bit of the pattern of that wild caught father, but not as extreme in every single baby meaning that that original gold stripe animal was actually a super sunfire. And with that new generation, sunfire was born. Now, every reticulated python is going to have kind of some base pattern elements. You have that black dorsal pattern, the white side rosettes, and then leaking down from that dorsal pattern, you have this area of like a gold, brown, bronze color that folds itself down over a silver base coming up from the bottom, which we often refer to as like side flames or those silver side spears. The Sunfire gene almost works as if you had taken dry watercolor paints and suddenly splashed water on everything. So what it does is it takes the blacks and thickens and boldens them. It gives a, a faded gradient away from the black into the gold. And then those gold brown colors are brightened up, intensified, and also widened. So the area of the coverage of those brown to, to gold areas is going to increase and the color is going to intensify as well. The Sunfire Morph also just barely slightly cleans up the pattern of the animal, meaning removes any of the background speckling and reduces the pattern just ever so little. So in order to compare apples to apples, I stuck with the same locality for these two projects. What we have here in this wild type is a pure Kiowati. And with this Sunfire, we have a 50% Kiowati Sunfire cross. So let's get a little up close and personal with these guys and see how they really look. Now the wild type Kiowati has a beautiful bold black and sweeping pattern. When we compare it to a Sunfire, we can see that the gold area is much thicker. It extends almost all the way down the snake and in some cases completely engulfs the silvers, leaving nothing behind but an orange coloration. And where our wild type was best described as brown, the Sunfire now truly is a, a golden color. The distinction between the black parts of the pattern and the gold also are not as clear. On the wild type, you can see that pixelated pattern between the black and the gold, but on the Sunfire, it has that watercolor effect where the black and the gold bleed into each other and leave for a very interesting transitional zone. Now, if you remember, I was talking about how the Sunfire does actually tweak the pattern as well, which can most be seen in the neck and tail. Up on the neck of the animal, it pulls the side rosettes, interestingly, further and further up the neck, where you have that bold white contrast starting much higher up the animal. That is until you get a super Sunfire. We can talk about that later. Moving down the animal to the mid back, you can see how the zigzag pattern of the Kiowati is cleaned up, emboldened, and, and really just set off by that Sunfire gene. Much lighter dorsal color, deep reddish orange bronze sides with that bold black intersecting. And as we move further and further to the tail, it seems like in most Sunfires, the silver that it was trying to come up from the belly is just completely gone at this point, leaving nothing but a gold, black, and white animal. So now that we've seen what Sunfire does on top of the wild type reticulated python, 
Let's take a look at some of the color and pattern mutations in retics and what Sunfire can do to change that look as well. All right, so for this example, we actually have her brother. This is from the same 50% Kiowati clutch, but we've added the platinum gene in this example. Now, if you remember, I said platinum makes things brighter and it reduces the pattern. On many platinums, you end up with a pixelated pattern. However, the addition of the Sunfire with the platinum continues that clean saturation, the complete backfill of color on the animal. You still get the reduced striping from the Sunfire, which again is really looks great on these Kiowatis. And the yellow is much nicer overall. Instead of a light, bright, kind of over overexposed type of yellow, you get a deep, dark, fully saturated golden color that just gets better and better with age. Likewise, in albino projects, the Sunfire adds a deep, dark, rich contrast that really shows off particularly in the darker forms of albino, like this Mochino Sunfire, you can see where that Sunfire gene has completely filled in any silver in the neck and tail and had it almost completely wrap around the silver on the sides, leaving for a brilliant orange background with a dark contrasting dorsal pattern. Because of the subtle changes and vibrancy it brings out, the Sunfire will actually show off other base morphs even in their heterozygous form, like this het orange ghost stripe. Now normally a het orange ghost stripe really doesn't look much different at all from a wild type, but much like the yellow belly gene in ball pythons, the sunfire added to that het orange ghost stripe makes for some of the cleanest, brightest orange snakes that are possible to make outside of albino genes. Sunfire also can be the key to some very unnatural colors that you normally would not see in a reticulated python. For example, this Sunfire anery. Now where anerythristic removes all of the orange pigment and Sunfire adds it back in, because that base of orange is gone, what you're left with is a metallic lime green, a color that never shows up naturally in retics at all. So now here we have a phantom Sunfire Annery. And just like the Sunfire Annery, we have this turning the brown into a, a copper green color, but the phantom actually removes any natural black from the animal where, the, where it used to be black is like a deep coffee brown. These half tones of green are brought out by the Sunfire gene, adding a bunch of color saturation to an animal that can't express any red at all leaving behind just that, that split half tone of a color that's normally expressed in reticulated pythons. What is the future of Sunfire? Where do we go from here? Because Sunfire is such a strong color enhancing gene that doesn't alter the pattern too much and where it does it actually brings contrast rather than reducing it like other color enhancers. This gene is going to be instrumental for people who are trying to selectively breed to the highest level. I'll give a shout out to my friend Shane Costello who's actually been doing this selectively breeding the highest quality Sunfires for multiple generations until his own bloodline he's, has kind of, I don't know, nip, been nicknamed a Shane Fire. And personally, something that um, if I borrow techniques that I've seen used in selective breeding in the ball python world, I think that that watercolor transitional zone is gonna be something that means big things for color mutations in the future. Well, hopefully that information gives a basis for your imaginations to run wild. You know what I would love to hear in the comment section below? Let me know what you think the coolest project to add Sunfire into has been or is going to be. If you guys wanna share with us some pictures, then hashtag them on whatever platform you're using with hashtag ROR Live and we'll react to them on our next live show. Finally, if you guys like this content, you wanna see more definitions of how pattern and color mutations are affecting reticulated pythons, check out this video right here. I love this snake. Kiowati is definitely one of the best localities in the Superdorf world for this Sunfire. Yeah, she's a hottie. I'm blown away by this.